Hi, my name is Mark Guthrie. I'm founder of Create3D. Today I want to show you a real-world problem solved with some design skills that anyone can learn and print on a 3D printer from MakerBot. This is the problem. I'm remodeling a house that was built in 1970. The windows are old. They're called Miami style. Each window has multiple panes and each of the panes is surrounded by an aluminum frame in four pieces. A single pane in one of the windows was broken. My worker disassembled the window and moved the broken glass, but between the glass shop and here, he lost one of the pieces. Well, guess what? The company that originally made these windows doesn't exist. Neither do the replacement parts. Window guys would laugh at me for even asking. Any aluminum not needed for a greater purpose has been melted for cash. So I was faced with a problem, replacing the single window that would not match the rest of the house, or replacing all the windows. Or try 3D printing the part. I'm, after all, in the 3D printing business. This is where the design comes in. Now for an engineer, designing a part like this would probably take an hour or so. It has some complexity, but not too bad. But then the problem would be how to manufacture it. Still the problem. So enter 3D printing. So the first step in creating a 3D printed part is you have to have some image to start with, or that is at least using the process that I was going to do. So for me, I had an existing part, and what I needed to do was trace that. And uh, so that's what I did here. I actually globbed a bunch of ink onto uh, the part and pressed it onto this paper. Um, it transferred pretty good, but not completely. So you can see different colors there is actually where I touched it up just using a Sharpie. So after creating that 2D profile, I was able to import that into the computer program. So it's still just 2D, thin as paper, actually thinner than paper. So now the thing is you have to make a 3D part out of that. So that's the next step. So after taking a picture of this with my iPhone and creating a graphic file, I imported that into a free, easy to use CAD program called Tinkercad. From there, I was able to move that into my 3D printer, my MakerBot 3D printer, and create this part. So you can see it's no longer 2D, it's actually 3D. So my whole objective with this is to test that I was able to do this process and match the original design which you can see it did. So once I proved the process would work, I proceeded to extrude it into a more actual size. So here you can see the part that was printed for my MakerBot printer. Again, matching exactly the original drawing, the prototype, if you will, and then now I actually have a part. Now the problem is this window needs about 14 inches of this part, which that's not 14 inches, obviously. So my MakerBot will only build about 12 inches, actually less than that. So what I had to do is in divide this into three, and that's where then I uh, created three separate parts that then because this is plastic, I was able to glue together. So now after gluing the three parts together, it looks like this, and this is after it's been assembled by the window company. Glass inserted and all. So just to recap, we traced the drawing onto this paper, extruded a prototype that matched like this, created three individual parts like this, glued them together, took it to the glass shop, and there you have it. Think it, make it. That's Create 3D's slogan. 